Well, good morning. We're at uh, Ebenezer Church out in uh, Kakamega, just getting ready for some uh, leaders to show up, and then we'll be doing a leadership training with them today, talking about uh, the importance of disciple making and even giving some skills on how to do that within their homes. We're really excited for uh, this opportunity to be with them today. Wow, what a day. We just got back to the hotel room. It's about 9 o'clock at night and just finished dinner and had just an amazing day of training. And now uh, we were at a church called Ebenezer um, here in Kagamega. And uh, we had about 30 people come, uh, leaders who are all really excited about launching discipleship groups in their homes. So had a lot of testimonies, had Pastor Jared, who's our local champion here in the area, training with us, and uh, David Juma and myself, and um, just a really encouraging time, shared some testimonies. People are really excited to begin doing discipleship in this community. So heading to bed, have an early day tomorrow with another um, really exciting training that we'll let you know about. This morning we are uh, at Mount Zion Church, a place of uh, many testimonies that we've been sharing around the world. And as you can see, the testimonies continue to grow as the church grows. And right now, we're in the middle of uh, encouraging, offering some training to the leaders who are leading uh, home discipleship groups, where a lot of those testimonies have come from. Right now, uh, our dear friend Bishop Saul is leading a training. Let's take a look. Taking a short break in the training right now, and I just have loved doing ministry here and hearing the testimonies. And uh, it seems like a place like this, people are um, just not consumed with a lot of distractions. They're so focused on their community um, and what God wants to do that they're really passionate about doing ministry and seeing people's lives transform. So it's been very encouraging to be here and hopefully we get a chance to capture some more testimonies of what God has been doing and uh, giving them the challenge to have even more testimonies for the next time. Wow, what a day. I uh, just got back to our uh, hotel room. Let me give you a quick tour of the hotel room. We've got SpongeBob and uh, that's it. That's the hotel room. So we're in for the night and gonna rest. We had just an incredible day. Um, did a wonderful, wonderful training for some leaders and uh, it was incredible to hear their testimonies and, and and I'm sure that we'll share some of those. We have a little bit more energy and then we left the training and um, went over to one of the church members' houses and got the chance to dedicate our brand new house and pray over it and, and celebrate the conclusion for her and her family in their new home. Um, and then had a few meetings with uh, different leaders here in this area, scheduling trainings, they're hearing testimonies, they're, they're seeing the need for making disciples and they're inviting us to come and, um, and to be a part of that. So we look forward to those uh, trainings coming up in the future, but also just the people that we get to walk with in ministry together. So thank you again for your prayers. Get some rest and we'll see what tomorrow holds. Wow, another day in another hotel room. So uh, we're just about finished up with our trip now. And uh, yesterday was amazing. Had a, uh, it was a day full of meetings and logistics. I was uh, traveling and doing ministry with Pastor Jared from Kakamega. And apparently he had been taking photos and sharing on Facebook on his phone um, about all of the different trainings we were doing and, and some of the testimonies we were hearing. 
So our last day ended up being full of church pastors and church leaders who really wanted to hear more. Um, we began to share sort of the vision behind some of the discipleship training that we do. Um, and most of them responded with uh, statements like, you know, we have training for evangelism and, and church planting, but we've been praying for someone to be able to do some training around discipleship and helping people grow deeper. And this is an answer to our prayers. And so as a result, we began filling up some of our training calendar for both next month and, and into next year as well. And it was just a really exciting, fun time of meeting and sharing um, and being encouraged in the process. Then today, um, woke up in, uh, in our partner church in uh, Malava and uh, they had a, a celebration Sunday around discipleship groups. And so um, we had a chance to share and encourage and each of the discipleship group leaders came up and Pastor David had a chance to pray over them and, um, and encourage them. And, uh, and then they even did a, a special offering towards the ministry um, from the church that hopefully will go towards some of our annual conference uh, expenses. So um, after that, we uh, began the eight hour drive home, uh, made it about a quarter of a way, and uh, we're gonna stay here for tonight, um, get some rest, get a good breakfast in the morning, and then uh, make the rest of the journey back to see the family. Thank you for your prayers. Well, as you can see, we've uh had a chance to come home and do a little bit of resting, but I wanted to share with you one testimony that I thought was just incredible. Uh, we were at a church and uh, this older, quiet spoken uh, man, gentleman, um, came up and he was sharing his story and he shared that uh, his wife um, had been going to church and, and he knew a little bit about Jesus, but he wasn't going to church and, and wasn't doing anything with it. And then at some point in life, um, he ran into a problem where he could no longer get the school fees um, for his kids to continue going to school. And at this time, his wife was involved in this small discipleship group and, and they were praying and this group believed that God wanted them to pay for the school fees. And so this group began raising the funds and, and paying for the school fees. And, and uh, this man continued to share that, that this son is now in the first year of university and the group is still helping and still feels committed to that as a family would be. And then he continued to go on and share and he said, you know, that this group decided that my wife didn't really live in a great home. And uh, the wind would blow through the walls. Sounds like it was an old rundown mud walled home. The rain would come through and it would rain real hard. The water would come up through the ground. And, and he said, this group decided that uh, my family didn't have a very nice home. And so they believed that Jesus wanted them, the group, to build a new home. And this small discipleship group came over and they built him and his family a new home. And he said that at this point, he began to experience what the love of Jesus was like. And he completely gave his life to the Lord. And at the end of his testimony, and he shared, and you could tell it was emotional, and it was very, very heartfelt that, uh, that he had experienced something incredible, and he sat down, and the young pastor of the church stood up, and he looked at me, and he said, Clinton, I just want you to know that, uh, that this gentleman is now an elder of our church. He's experienced the love of Jesus. And I hope that that's an encouragement to you. Um, it's so exciting to go and hear these testimonies of people showing love in practical ways, building the kingdom of Jesus here on earth. And uh, we're just honored and blessed to be a part of it. And we thank you for supporting us to, to be able to continue doing this ministry because it is changing lives. Thank you so much.